Good evening. Greetings from the Alter Global headquarters here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Thank you so much for inviting me to share what God is revealing to me concerning 2022. In September of 2021, I had a dream that took many months to process and I haven't felt led uh, to share it up until now. In 2021, in September, I had a dream where I would go into many different meetings. One meeting I would go into, there would be all white people. Another meeting that I would go into, there would be all African American people. Then I would go into meetings where I knew that everyone there was Democrat. I would go into other meetings where I knew everyone was Republican. Then I would go into other meetings where I knew everyone was Word of Faith. Then I would go into another meeting where I knew everyone was Assemblies of God or Church of God. I would go into meetings where I knew that everyone was in favor of the apostolic. Then I would walk into another meeting where I knew everyone was a fan of the pastoral. And so in this dream in September of 2021, the common theme, I would go into religious gatherings. I would go into political gatherings. I would go into gatherings where everyone was of the same skin color. But the common theme in all of these series of, of dreams in the dream was that everyone looked like, act like, and talked like one another. Suddenly after I visited these meetings, a curtain was ripped back in the dream. If you don't know, the word revelation in the Greek can mean a pulling back of the curtain. When this curtain was pulled back in the dream, God giving me a revelation, I saw this phrase, the disease of spiritual nepotism. Now at the time, I really didn't know what nepotism means, but nepotism refers to the favoring, the giving to influence of friends and family, people that we know. I immediately knew that God was going to expose in 2022 the disease of spiritual nepotism. See, all of these different gatherings that I would go to is what I refer to as echo chambers, where oftentimes we just gather with people who vote the same as we do. We gather with people who are of the same skin color. We gather with people who hold the same religious beliefs or denominations. God is putting his hand on spiritual nepotism in the body of Christ. The next scene in the dream, the final one that I saw, was a woman came into the dream that I didn't recognize, but I knew that she was from a different era. She was wearing clothes that looked like it was from the Middle East, an old, old era. She was carrying a vase, a large vase, that had spices in it. In the dream, suddenly I recognized she was the queen of Sheba. God began to say to me from 1 Kings 10 that the queen of Sheba was one who came and inquired of Solomon all that he had, his wisdom, his wealth. And it says there in 1 Kings 10 that the queen of Sheba brought more spices to Solomon and Israel than at any other point in history. As I woke up from this dream in September of 2021 and have not felt released to share it until now in 2021, I have a prophecy for the global body of Christ in 2022, and it's this, the spices are coming. I believe that God is about to send the Queen of Sheba's 
men and women who are going to infiltrate and who are going to bring spices into different movements religiously, into different political arenas, into different even color groups. If you are a leader of a movement, if you are the pastor of a church, if you are a small group leader, if you are a business owner, I believe in 2022, God is challenging the spirit of nepotism where we need to take a look at our circle of influence. We need to look at who we are inviting into the table and recognize God is bringing the spirit Spices, And if you know anything about spices, they come to cleanse us. They come to clear us out. I'm excited. I'm expectant. I'm looking for the queens of Sheba. I'm looking for individuals who don't look like, talk like, or act like me. I'm looking for voices, real voices in the earth who might not have the same perspective as me. And ultimately, as I inquired of the Lord, Lord, why do we need the spices? And the Lord said to me, Jeremiah, you will never have my full counsel in the earth until you bring to the table, until you bring to your conference, until you bring into your sphere of influence. You'll never have my full counsel unless you have men and women at the table who do not look, act, and talk like you. I pray that you're expectant. I pray that you're excited. The spices are coming. Bye-bye.